Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs. It appears the government will soon be announcing the shutdown of Ajax Casino. This reckless decision will likely spell the end of quarter horse racing in this province yep. and put over 1,700 local jobs at risk. The mayor of Ajax, Steve Parrish, said, we have been fighting to protect the Ajax Casino and quarter horse racing. But MPP Joe Dixon has given up by writing a two-page letter. I've uh, mentioned to members in this House once before, well, actually several times, take care of yourself, take care of your critics' role, but leave other members out of this when it comes to doing work within their own writing. Carry on. On this side of the House, Speaker, we are not giving up either. Order. To the minister, will you stand up for the people of Ajax and rural jobs, or would you rather be remembered as the minister that killed quarter horse racing in Ontario? Thank you. Thanks very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. I do appreciate the question from my colleague uh, from Perth, Wellington. Uh, we, of course, over the last number of years in successive budgets, have put uh, a substantial funding to sustain uh, horse racing in the province of Ontario. Ontario the whole, is the home, of course, of 15 tracks, uh, two thoroughbred tracks, one quarter horse track, and 12 standard bred tracks across the province of Ontario. And we'll continue uh, to work with the local member, continue to do work with the people of Peacock Downs uh, to make sure that quarter horse racing has a bright future in the province of Ontario. Supplementary. Again, to the uh, Minister of Agriculture, this government's record on horse racing and the rural economy has been a total disaster. Yeah. Let's not forget. These are the same Liberals who secretly plotted to go to zero dollars for horse racing. It's the same Liberals who ripped apart the slots at racetracks program, knowing it could mean 23,000 job losses and 27,000 dead horses. And now it's the same Liberals who look, who look. Finish, please. And now it's those same Liberal Speaker who look ready to destroy quarter horse racing for crass political reasons. Yep. Speaker, I support Ajax Council's demand. Stop the clock, please. Minister of Economic Development and Growth is warned. The member may finish. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, I support Ajax Council's demand that, that the government Question, delay sir. any further decision until after the June election. To the minister, will you do the right thing and apologize to the town of Ajax and horse people across the province? Mr. Speaker, I want to um, I want to thank uh, the member for supplementary. But, Mr. Speaker, I want to provide a little history here. One job, Sno one John Snowblund, who had a very distinguished career on that side of the house, when he was part of the panel along with Albert Buchanan and John Wilkinson. Mr. Stolman was the guy that said the SARPA racetrack program was not transparent and unaccountable, that changes need to be given. Whoa. A very astute observation from someone who sat on that side in that caucus for a long period of time. But you know, when you really want to look at the architect of the problems that Ajax Down is having, what needs to look at what Rod Phillips, who is a bit of an architect of what for? happened with regards to Who's this. And secondly, the member from Ajax Pickering is a tireless defender Here. of horse racing at Ajax Downs. 